It makes you glowy and soft and look very sweet. Hi guys, my name is Isa. If you don't know me, I am from San Francisco, but I currently live in New York City. Today, I will be doing a very clean girl, 10 minute makeup routine, maybe even less. So let's get started. So for my first product, I always clean my skin with toner because I think it removes the dirt really well. I use this Ordinary Toner or a Peach and Lily Good Acids Toner. If you guys have watched my other videos, I live by this shit. Sorry. I do. That's why it looks horrendous. And I will just put glow screen everywhere. I don't have a mirror in front of me. I'm literally using the camera. I will just smear it all over my face with my fingers. Obviously, you have to wash your hands before. Make sure your fingers are clean. You can see how luminous this makes your skin look. It is called a glow screen and there is SPF 40, so... It's kind of a serve. Next thing I'm gonna do is brush my eyebrows. I don't have a reason for that. Oh, I also just fucked up a spot. And I use this Fenty Beauty. I have had this for like five years. I should probably replace it, but my skin has broken out. So I'm just gonna use it till it's all out. And I will just draw a line. Um, <laughs> And then I will just kind of dot some on my chin. And then I will draw a squiggly line on my forehead. I also draw the number 11 on my nose. So after this face shape, you're going to literally take an angled brush and blend it out. Okay, we're going to do the eyes. I recommend one from Muji because I think it fits Asian eye shapes better. Or I recommend the Shu Umero one. Those are the two that I live by because they are both a very adaptable to Asian eye shapes. This is how I do my very clean and simplistic makeup. This is how I curl my lashes. Okay, next up I will take the Rare Beauty Concealer. I use the shade 260 to 260N. And um, this has been lasting me a really long time. I barely use anything. I literally just put two dots on my dark circles. And wherever I am, breaking out and I will take my ring finger <laughs> and dab it in the reason why I don't put concealer on before I do contour or bronzer is because I feel like it looks more brightening after it's a I don't know I just made it up we're going to do the brows usually I curl it and then I do the brows because it gives me a better idea of how I want to shape them. I will take the little medium brown tip. Same with the other side. I will attempt to make them look more symmetrical, but they are sisters and not twins. There's also a liquid side. Sometimes I'll use it to draw fake Freckles, I already have a few. Those are real, but I think it makes it look more youthful. There we go. We're going to go in with the best mascara ever. It's the Heroin Makeup Eye Japanese Long and Curl Waterproof Mascara. And apply it on your lashes. Honestly, if you get it on your lid, it does not really matter. <laughs> I always leave it. I don't really mind. Now to finish it off, we're going to use just 
some regular black eyeliner and draw a wing. I also use this Cali Ray dark pencil eyeliner. It will just go into the pencil. Go kind of on the waterline. Ever so slightly, that's literally it. And then we'll do on the other side. And just like pencil it in. For the final step of the whole makeup, this is my favorite part. We're just going to apply Hello Blush because it makes you glowy and soft and look very sweet. I'm very excited for this part. It is the Patrick Ta blush and she's adorable. This suits tan Asian skin tone very, very well. We're just going to take this. I have used this at its capacity. I love this soft, glowy, cute look. We're also going to finish off with a little orangey pink lip. This is actually from Revlon in the shade Tread Lightly. And then I actually like to finish off with the Road Lip Treatment, Peptide Lip Treatment, because it just looks like gloss, but it tastes like salted caramel. We're gonna ooze a little bit, a bit out. There we go. Oh, I didn't do that right. Oh, that was incorrect. Don't do that. Bah. There we go. Ta da! That is it for a glowy, soft makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, it wasn't too boring and it was informative. I have been getting a lot of questions on how I do my makeup, so here it is. 